basic internal maintenance with your jack and your battery. The base we're showing here has two batteries. So if you have a nine volt, which is uh, maybe half the bases out there, maybe more, I'm gonna put, take this battery, see how it's clipped in here? Just with your, hold the battery just with your thumb, push it off. I'm gonna put this out of the way for the video because the ones with nine volts, this is where the battery is. Uh, sometimes when a person tries to change a battery, he might put pressure on this board or this board, the nine volt board. Uh, this is the 18, but I have a nine in the other room. So if they put pressure and they snap the board off the pot, then you need a repair. Then you got to call us. But to change the battery, like I said, just lift it out of the holder, snip it off, change it. Now, I do a tongue test to make sure it's good. You can use a meter. You know, if it's over 6 volts, it's good for now. If you have a new battery, keep the 6 volt for a spare and put the fresh one in. The jack, a little more complicated. So here is an extra jack. You can see here that the three colored wires are soldered to the pins. They're all trimmed. And then shrink tube over. It's nice and neat. That's how we sell the jack with the plug-in. A guitar store would get some type of stereo jack and hand solder everything. And they might use my wire because they got to plug it into the circuit. They don't have this tool. So this has got a lock washer, a dress washer, and a nut. Three parts. So to put this on, you would just, you know, loosen it up. Take them off. And then loose. Now to take the jack off, I have a wrench here. It's an open end wrench. It's got two numbers. This is 9 sixteenths, and this says one half, which is slightly smaller. But you can see I filed it. So this is kind of in between half and 9 sixteenths, depending on how much room I have to grab it. And there are other brands of jacks where the nuts could change in size over, so I keep this here. and I just you know, have to get it and loosen it little by little. You know, okay, so it's little by little, you can't get big turns, just tiny turns. Tough to get in there. Also, when you tighten, you don't want to tighten it so much that you crunch this black. Uh, what can you call it? gasket of some sort? But you would you would undo that till it's loose. You can just spin it off with your finger, and you come over here, lift the wire out gently. Okay, lift around the battery here, and just press down and pull it out. It plugs right in here. It's a little port. It's where it plugs in. The back part goes right down and clips. Any looser. just hold this and spin the jack or do this with my thumb or both you know the whole jack comes out put these parts up you don't want to lose them so let's say for instance you know this jack is still good so I'm not going to replace it tight in here <laughs> comes out so to put it in there 
Again, put it in the big hole right there. This up. Put these here with the lock washer first, and the dress washer, and then the nut. Put them all down there. Get them on here. Now watch. I'm just going to spin this with my fingers. So it's kind of tight. And then I'll use the wrench to tighten it up. Actually, you can almost do it finger tight. But I'll just tighten it a little with the wrench. The other way now. Usually this jack is put in before these battery boxes are. So it's a little harder when you're replacing it. Turning it towards this side to tighten it. Okay, that's tight. And then I run this wire back around. And put this battery back in, get out of my way. Cameraman's blocking my light. Blame it on him. Plug this in. The back part to the back of the circuit board in the port. Click. It's in. Tuck your wires in. And you're good to go. So, how do you know when you need a new battery? I mean, a new jack. Well, here's a regular cable. Put this in here. Pretty tight, and then click. Pull it out, click. When it's going in and out easy, like there's nothing holding it, nothing gripping it, then it's worn out. There's a tiny spring inside, but these springs get worn from friction. Unlike the top jack with a prong you can press, these jacks don't have the strength. But some cables have oversized tips, and they tend to strip those out prematurely. I've seen them go in a week, or in a month, and I've seen jacks last five, ten years. You know, so it really depends on usage, type of cable, and uh, and just you know being careful. So that's that's it about the batteries and the jack. <laughs>